Hey guys, what's up? Just here at the Regatta Center here in Penrith. Oh, here we go. And just doing some laps, trying to get back into a fitness routine. Let me just stop here. That's a massive helmet. But as you can see, we've got it all here in our own backyard. I haven't actually been here for a very long time. Um, don't often come to the Regatta Center, but it's a good loop if you've got a bike. But it makes you realize how good the resources and amenities and infrastructure is here in the Nepean Hawkesbury. Um, look good for a ride. Just wanted to take this time out guys to just say good day. Um, I'm on a health journey at the moment. Um, as I'm riding around here, I feel like there's a lot of endorphins going on. Yes, you're cleaning out the cobwebs of your mind, the brain fog's going. But I've just been thinking a lot about my own health journey, but even for other people's health journeys, that no matter where you're at, well, I'm out of breath, that you can always make a start. You can always keep getting back into it, slowly build up. Guys, also the other thing is thinking about preservatives and food choices, um, making the switch to whole foods or 90% whole foods if you can. Obviously, if you're out, you know, you can't control what's in the Thai or Chinese. But I find as I'm getting older, 27, I can't really handle the, um, the MSG and foods or preservatives. And it actually makes me feel mentally sick. Like I feel um, unwell from having the crap food. But when I eat whole foods, I feel great. I just want to encourage you guys, wherever you're at in your health journey, um, to just get serious about it but also like start switching to whole foods if if you're not already i mean it's pretty simple but avoid the preservatives obviously i'm not trying to sound like a i don't know a nazi in that regard but guys just want to encourage you no matter where you are in your health journey keep going keep taking the baby steps have a goal have a vision and reclaim your destiny you don't have to settle for what you where you are at the moment do what you can where you can um and it's a beautiful day here right, there we go Santa. Keep going, don't give up. Baby steps. Don't wait for the new year. And put the load put right, the on load me. right on me. I picked up my bag and went looking for a place to hide. Alright guys, so just did a bit more riding around here. Uh, it's a great spot here. As you can tell, that is let's have a look if we can zoom up on that. Beautiful just outlook here. I can't even let me see if I can take a front angle for you. Come on, come on, let's go downtown. She said, I gotta go, but my friend here can stick around. Take the load off and... Hopefully that's focused on me. Guys, this is a very magical spot. This is in the lowlands here. It's a very much a farming and agricultural area. Lots of polo fields, lots of horses. Um, but a beautiful spot nonetheless. A very spiritual spot. Very quiet, tranquil. Lots of history here. Um, we've got the river up there. So anyway, guys, just see if I won't focus. Wherever you're at on your fitness journey, you know, it's it's such a tough one. Like we've come out of lockdowns, COVID, we're still in it. And, you know, a lot of us feel like a sense of loss or whatever, we've changed scenarios and um, things are different. Things feel different. And maybe we're realizing what's important in life and what life's all about. Maybe we're realizing that, um, yeah, there's a car coming. So I'm just gonna chill for a bit. I'm gonna go back to this one because I can't get it in focus. Um, but in essence, guys, you know, I can't believe some of the ways I used to treat my body, the junk food I used to eat, and just the, I don't know, the silly behavior. Like you stay up late and just eat crap. And I'm like, dude, why didn't I eat healthier? Whilst it's okay to have one of those, you know, seasons where you eat crap, you know, you enjoy it, but um, it's not really worth the toss. So guys, I'm on a journey trying to get down to 90 kilos. Um, I guess like my ideal weight would be 85, but that's not considering muscle. But at the moment, I want to try and be functional, like have your anaerobic and aerobic systems really functioning well. So whether it's biking, swimming, um, running, um, those systems are all good, uh, cardiovascular. Um, but look, it takes time, diet, and spending the right time with the right people in the sense of having a team, having people that motivate you, push you to be your best. Um, you need to find that motivation. Sometimes it's outside of yourself. Sometimes it's inside of yourself. So guys, wherever you're at, I just encourage you to keep going one step at a time. Keep going 1% a day. Keep getting better. Don't give up. There's no perfect storm. So this, this video, I want to talk a little bit about um, just an update, but also just to practice my skills because often um, it's not the message, it's the messenger. So like I could say like, I could talk on topics, right? But if you don't have respect for me or you don't like me or whatever and you think, whatever, Alex, you're not the authority in this area, you're not qualified, 
that's probably the better way to say it. You're not qualified. Who are you? You're only, you know, <clears throat> this age, you know, you, you haven't demonstrated you live this life. How can you talk on that? So one, it's to talk on things that you feel you're an authority in or you feel like it's closer to home for you or you can talk out of, the, out of that experience. That's one thing. But I guess I can't talk to you about things that I haven't been through because I could talk about it topically, but I couldn't like, you know, properly unpack it. So that's one thing. And I think when it comes to anything in business or sales um, or whatever it is, generating amounts of income, um, often we can compare ourselves to the multi, 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 multi millionaires who are successful on YouTube or online and Instagram. And often we would feel that we are inferior or we, we shouldn't really talk because, you know, we don't have that Lamborghini yet. We're not at that point. And when we're at that point of perfection or, you know, we, we can maybe appear to be doing a lot, lot better. Um, and especially with compar comparisons of, you know, looking at people in Miami, New York, you know, $200 million, a lot of our success can be based around financial, um, you know, uh, figures. And so that prevents a lot of you from actually probably from sharing and making content. So, and, and whilst content is key, um, I think a lot of us wait, including myself, till we are at a point where we feel, you know, better about ourselves, more comfortable, um, we feel that the video will come off as better because we are someone that has the, you know, track record. And so, you know, 100%, if you are an Olympian athlete and you have had gold medals, you can obviously then train or coach people and uh, implement, um, you know, a training program from someone for someone maybe. And you would feel a bit more comfortable because you're not just like some young guy that's just trying to fake it till you make it, right? So I think there's an element of... Yeah, you want to have the runs on the board. You want to be able to like say, guys, I've got a warehouse or I did this and here's some strategies, right? You want to be able to say that. But I think what's even more beautiful is as you go and as you are in the humble beginnings um, in your startup phase or in your earlier phase where there's been a lot of failures, a lot of mistakes, there's been a lot of letdowns, you've had just um, like maybe loss, grief, you've had all these things hit you, right? Whether it's your own fault or just whatever life circumstances, to document that <clears throat> sorry to document that and you're not concealing and you're not like trying to like just get to that point where you're ripped and you've got the abs and you look amazing but you've actually documented how you got there so guys that's what i really want to do a little bit more of is that raw vulnerability of not waiting five ten years to then film and then you know i've just you know popped up but i think just a gradual um building of videos and hopefully now I'm looking at myself on the mirror. Hopefully, even as I talk, just for those last five minutes, my eye contact was more, um, you know, on point. Hopefully, ninety percent there. There was a few moments where I took my eyes off the screen. But this video, pretty much in essence, was to just keep my eye contact as best as I could on the camera lens that I'm looking at, the focal point, not looking at myself because that's looking at me and that's looking at you in the camera. So, guys, um, this is just a little update and an encouragement to not just start to share or make content uh, based on, yeah, like when you feel successful, when you feel like you're all ripped, um, because none of us are there yet. And even when you get to that point or that goal, um, that goal post will continue to move and continue to dissolve and the next thing will pop up. So guys, don't be afraid to share your, your wins as well as your losses and the lessons along the way that you've learned. Um, and hopefully this video uh comes out clearly and i have been successful in making this video with the eye contact thanks guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video